or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadia and I am an adult doll collector. I'm trying a new setup. We'll see how I like it. This is my doll display, so um, we'll see if this sticks or if I kind of change some things around, but let me know how you guys feel about this kind of setup. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything AG related that I got for my birthday. It was my 26th birthday on November 10th, and I went to the American Girl Store Chicago. Um, we went and ate at the cafe, had cake and ice cream, and then we went shopping, and uh, it was just such a great time. It was my brother, my sister, and then my friend Sarah, um, and then myself, and we all went the four of us and it was just such a great time so um yeah let me show you everything that I got first are these gorgeous coffee table books that were made and gifted to me by my super talented sister and if you know you know okay these are absolutely staying on my coffee table indefinitely she made them hardcover um, gave them these beautiful suede and gold foil designs. Just stunning. If you aren't familiar with the content of these iconic books, to put it simply, puberty. I mean, come on. These are just perfect. Thank you, Tashi. I love them so, so much. Next thing is something that I got for myself before going to Chicago and it was on Facebook Marketplace. I got number 26. She was $60 and she's in her meat outfit with the little care for your curly hair doll tag. See, she's got a couple outfits extra included in behind her here. And she's honestly in like really good condition. I do need to like redo her curls, but so she just looks so good. I love the Addy mold and Having a medium skin toned um, Addy mold was definitely something I wanted for my collection. I think 26 is a beautiful, beautiful doll. So I'm so excited. She was $60 and then she also included these outfits here. The Inner Star U um, basketball uniform. Basketball itself. The little basketball shoes. And then I don't remember what this outfit was called. It looks like they've got the here, here like that. That's, that's much better. There. Okay. So we've got this little like plaid dress with the blue shirt underneath, the little purple beanie, and then it comes with the brown tall boots that are very similar to the boots that are part of this meat outfit. They're plain version with no um, embroidery on them, which I actually really love. So I'm really happy to have number 26 in my collection. She is definitely a beautiful doll. This is Benoit. He wants to be a part of the video, I guess. So say hi, Benoit. <laughs> All right. Okay, next let's get into what I got at the American Girl store. Well, first off, the cafe. This is the bag that I went with. And um, Chrissy from AG Takes Over did a really like in-depth video about like what's in all the goodie bags. So definitely take a look at her video. But I got the one that includes the apron, a little like hand mixer, whisk thing. This is a little um, plate that was just from the cafe. So this isn't like a part of the birthday set. This is just from eating in the cafe. And this little red box is for a little cupcake. And it's like a little rose cupcake. Super adorable. Um, this is also, if you've eaten in the American Girl Cafe, you know what this is, okay? And then also, this was my um, crown. And then they had the matching doll crown. And then it does come with like a little activity book too. So that was so much fun to eating in the cafe. Um, I have never eaten in the cafe before, so that was definitely something I needed to try. I will say I don't see myself really doing that again. Food wasn't the best. It's 
I mean, I knew what the menu was ahead of time, so I knew what to expect, but very expensive for the type of food that you get. So um, just keep that in mind if you plan on going to the American Girl Cafe. But I had a lot of fun. Definitely like check that off my bucket list. I did get the little souvenir cup. Um, it's currently being washed, so I can't show that right now, but okay, let's move on to what I actually bought in the American Girl store. Okay, so first off is three of the little mini surprise takeout things. And I thought that I was getting three different ones, but I might have gotten two of the same. Now that I'm looking at their like codes, but I don't really know. So let's open these. Ooh, okay. So that's what it looks like. And the little lid. That's adorable. Oh my God, American Girl, go off. And this is like the little carry out menu, which is kind of cute. That comes with it. And it's just like the checklist, but I love that they made it the menu. So let's see what this one is. Ooh, I got the Chinese food. The little Chinese takeout. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. Sesame chicken. There's like sesame seeds all over it. Mm -hmm. Sesame chicken and some steamed rice. Oh my gosh, that is way too cute. Okay, last and final one. Let's see what we got. Eey. Oh, it's another one of these. <laughs> But that's okay because now my dolls can like go out together. Okay, that was fun. The next thing I got was Courtney's Friends jacket and I just love Courtney's collection. So of course I had to grab this while I was there. Oh, cute. Oh, that is so adorable. So it's got the button on the front, but it does Velcro which I personally love because um, I often have nail extensions and sometimes that can make buttons a little bit difficult um, or just like tiring anyways. Not necessarily difficult, it's just like this is much easier for me. So um, yeah, that is so cute. I'm so glad to add that to my collection. Okay, next is Kaya's powwow dress of today. And I am so excited about this one because um, Kaya collection just never really had a whole lot to it but I am excited to have more for her to wear because right now all I have is her meat dress okay so on top is the beautiful dress itself the fringe is everything that is so pretty I love the embroidery and the colors Ah, I'm so excited to put this on my Kaya doll. That is gorgeous. And if the whole thing is like faux suede. I love that. Here is the little headpiece. I am not sure of the official name of this. There's not like an informational book it, booklet. Informational booklet in the box like there normally is. Um, so I don't know what the headdress or headpiece would be actually called if there's a name for it, but here are the boots. Yeah, they're like moccasin boots. They are so cute. Again, they're kind of like a faux suede material and then um, they again have the embroidery on them. I'm really happy to have that. I'm excited that I got more for Kaya's collection. Okay, next is the red vinyl jumper outfit for Nikki. But I just wanted this because I've been looking for the red vinyl jumper outfit for a long time, but it's hard to find one that's like still in good condition and that's not peeling or sticky. So I'm really happy that American Girl re-released it with a different material, even if it's a little bit cheaper of a material. I'm just really happy to have the outfit. Okay, so right on top is the jumper itself. Oh, it's so cute. And it is kind of like this thin um, vinyl type material, but 
It is so cute. So adorable. And then the long sleeve turtleneck, the adorable tights, and the boots. Now these are cute, but they are not, um, I don't think anybody is wearing the boots that y'all can see. She's got a different kind that have the similar sole, but these are just like a hard, non-translucent, opaque plastic, but they are still really cute and still feel like decent quality. And then also the scrunchies, too cute. Okay, next is the November birthstone outfit. And I had to get this because of course my birthday is in November. So needed this. I think this is the cutest outfit in the whole collection. I might get the September one, which is Sapphire. It's that gorgeous Sapphire blue outfit. Love that. Right on top is the iconic fluffy jacket. That is so adorable. Are you kidding? That is so cute. And then the rhinestone beanie. I'm so excited about this. This is the little choker and it does have Velcro on it. So you can easily put it on and off of your doll. Ooh, the shoes feel kind of heavy. I love that. They've got these like platform bottoms and the rhinestones on the side. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. And then the dress is this orange checker print with the belt and rhinestones. Oh my god, this is just an iconic outfit. American Girl, 10 out of 10 for this one. This is way too cute. I think I'm going to get more from the Birthstone collection. Okay, next is the caring, the, what is this? Cat Care Essentials. I thought this was too cute because it's got a little doll-sized cat poops and a little doll-sized cat poop scoop. Oh man, some assembly required. Okay, pulling this out. This is what we're working with. Oh, little stickers. But of course, some assembly would be required. Oh my God, this is too cute. This is way too cute. Okay, 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 okay. Get it together. How do I... Oh, oh no. Okay, so you can either, oh, no, never mind. Okay. Oh, oh that is too cute. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this, but it's so cute. Miss Licorice here. <gasps> Stop, this is perfect for licorice. That is too cute. Okay, what else is in here? Whoa. Ah! This looks like a little bed. Oh, this is the bed that goes on the platform. Okay. Okay, so here's the little bed. And I think you could do either side up. Oh, that is so adorable on the tower. That's too cute. I love this. So then the remaining items. This looks like the little... Okay, so this is like the little feeding station. This is the cat grass. Oh my god, iconic. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I'm a little confused. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. <gasps> okay, and then it comes with this little like long boy and you've got the food, the water, um, the pee and the poop all in the same. Let's just, uh, Let's just open that up. Let's start with the the food and the water. Oh, this is the little food patty. It just fits perfectly in there. Oh my God, that's adorable. 
and then the little water disc. <laughs> And the water does look like it has like a top to it um, because there's like a little ripple in it. So we'll put it that way up. But the food looks like you can go either way. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I feel like my actual cats need this little setup with the cat grass. They would just dig the dirt that the cat grass is in though. They wouldn't even care about the plant itself. My cats are crazy. Next is the little litter box and the kinetic sand here's the litter box and then the kitty litter oh my god put it in there damn that's a strong one okay Tiny little pooper scooper. Okay. So I've got the sand in there with the little pooper scooper. Now let's get the pea clumps, toss those in there, and the little turds. Oh my god. Okay, there's the little clumps in there you know this is this is actually so adorable i am so glad that i got this and then you can always put the litter back in here because it's just kinetic sand that is way too cute this set 10 out of 10. all right next is the doll that i got i'm so excited some of you may know, because I've been posting about it on my Instagram, which doll I wanted. And I was worried if they would even have her in store or not. But they did have her in store. Her display was very small. I was kind of sad about that. It was kind of hard to find her. But I did find her. I got Miss Covey Sharma. Her box is gorgeous. I love the, like Broadway-esque design on here. They had probably like 10 of her left in the store. I definitely got the best one. So I'm going to take her out of her box. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. There she is. Then her book. Oh my goodness. So I don't have the Mary Grace mold in my collection yet. So I'm so excited to have Miss Kavi. And I'm also really excited to have her because... 2023 is the year that I got back into American Girl collecting, so I wanted to commemorate that by having the Girl of the Year from that year. Yay! Oh my goodness! <gasps> She's so cute! Oh my god, and a lot of people don't like her outfit. Um, I think that if her pants were black, this would make a lot more sense. I don't understand the like gray silver color. I think black would have coordinated better because there's black in her shirt. That's just my opinion. Um, I do think that they are going to be cute um, styled outside of this outfit. Overall, I really love her outfit. I think that it is a throwback to Marisol's outfit. I love this top. I think that is so cute and I can't wait to put it with like a black skirt or something. Let's take off her hairnet. She is so gorgeous. Oh. Oh yay. Her hair is so soft and shiny and I just love the length of it. Oh my god, Miss Kavi, you are gorgeous. Yay! I cannot believe I have her. Aww. I've been thinking about getting her for months, and I wanted to wait until my birthday trip to get her. I was worried that they might not have her, but they did, and I got to pick mine out, and I'm so, so happy. I'm going to keep her hair in this little meat style, meat hair style. I think she's so pretty. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I got. Again, let me know how you feel about this new setup. 
yeah, I'm curious to see how you feel about it. I'm gonna move some things around in my doll room, but if you like this setup with the doll display behind me, let me know because um, I might start filming this way, recording, because this is not on film. This is on my phone. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you like seeing this, um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!